to the Hub today. We know that food is one of the best ways and our favorite way to learn and experience different cultures. So how about we take a culinary trip to Colombia today? Chef and owner of Panela Restaurant, Viviana Duque, is here to be our guide. Welcome. Welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. Aww. Tell us a little bit about the restaurant. So my restaurant is... Um, it's a Colombian restaurant, and I, what I do is that I create dishes based on different regions of Colombia. Mm -hmm. And I have panela, which is um, sugar cane, and I use it on all the ingredients, all the recipes. So that's the word for sugar cane. Yeah. Okay. Panela. Cool. And we use this in everyday basis, pretty much. Yes. yes. Wow, so this is almost in everything. What I wanted to show you guys today is arepas, which is the most iconic meal of Colombia. Uh -huh. And I wanted to show you guys three different ways of making it. Healthy, um, you can use your vegetables. I have plantain, yuca, and corn. Basically, right. what is an arepa? So arepa is pretty much, the, the most iconic arepa is the corn arepa. It's a um, vegetable that you ground up uh -huh. and you make it up into a round shape. Yeah. Which patty. means, yes, all of arepas are round. It's almost like the... Um, the sign of unity in the family mm. of Colombia. Oh, we I always, love that. We always get together and we make the arepas. We yeah. end, yeah. yes. So each arepa represents a different region of Colombia as well. <laughs> the yuca arepa is mostly from the Pacific area. The um, corn arepa is from Medellin, the, you know, the paisas. And we have the plantain arepa, which is from the Amazonas. Okay. Oh, cool. And is it time consuming to put it's it all together? It's not time consuming. If you really think about it, you just want to cook the vegetable, and then mm -hmm. you just want to add whatever. If you want to add some garlic or some butter, but just make it up. Ah, oh, so good. So arepas have a special place in my yes. heart. And one thing I love about them is the versatility of what you can pair with them. The accessories. You have some really cool yes. looking toppings. So it's about the pairing and also about the cooking. You can grill them. You can bake them. You can just put them in the flat top. Uh, we can make them vegetarian with lots of meat or just like the typical with avocado All right. and okay. pork belly. Let's, so, let's jazz them up. And yes. I saw you slicing these in the center before we rolled. So this what is my arepas you? de yuca. Yeah. What oh. I do to make them a little pink, I put beet powder. Yeah. Okay. So it could be a little healthier too. And what we stuff these ones with is I have like a creamy chicken and mm. chorizo. Oh, it goes Whoa. inside. Filling. Yes. You want to fill wow. them up. Okay. So they kind of look like this. Okay. Oh, done. That's that really cool. Awesome. Can you also put it on top or is it you can, typical? So this one I'm going to do it on top. Okay. okay. The most typical one is the corn for breakfast. We usually have a just corn and avocado. Yeah. I and love corn, that. corn, avocado, some lime, some salt. If you like, want to add an egg to it, it would be great. It's like the Colombian <laughs> avocado toast. Yeah. <laughs> I actually call it out of avocado toast so people yeah. can be more familiar with it. And you add some pickled onions. It's great That's, with it too. Okay. Right and up my alley. These were right red onions that you just did yes. in like a little vinegar? I pickled them with some vinegar and panela mm. for the sweetness. And what I about this? Have, so this is the plain Plantain arepa. I opened it as well. Now and this can will be see. a little sweet. It's a little okay. sweeter, so it balances great with avocado and pork belly, which is what I did today. Oh, that looks so crispy. And you, have yeah, the, you have the crispy pork belly. It's super crispy. And the avocado just has a little bit of lime, nothing else to it. Now, how do you dig in? Like, let's you say. Might want to do you just, like, take a big bite of this? You want to take a big bite can of I, it? Can yes, I go, go ahead. For this? You know what I did last year? I served this as a side on my Thanksgiving table. This we is a did, whole meal. We did uh, mm. the corn arepas. Yes. And it was just such a fun way to bring corn into a traditional New England dish. Um, I love that. That texture is special. So I like, love that texture. Like I said, you guys can cook it different ways. Oh you can God. grill it. You can put in the salt pan. This is so good. <laughs> How'd you do this one? Is this like the So fries? this is just corn, and I fried this one. You yes. fried oh, this one I fried. I love it. Fisker. This one was cooked in the salt pan, and this one was kind of blanched, like slightly fried, but then I finished it in the grill. Okay, thank thank you so much. I can't wait to come into your well, restaurant, Thank Viviana. you so much for thank having you. me. Yes.